Hello everyone. We will continue the topic reprocessing of error IDOX using BD87 transaction code. And in the previous videos, we replicated the scenario. Now we have five IDOX number which are in error state. Now we will see how to reprocess them with the help of BD87. Now, why this IDOX failed? Why this IDOX failed? Because we are inserting the same employee ID into the employee table. So how we can insert the same primary key again? So we got the error message. Now, if we want to reprocess these IDOCs, so that their status will convert to successful. It means we should change the employee ID. So we will reprocess them by changing the data of the IDOCs. If you will not change the data, again, they will go to error state. So we will see how to change the data and how to reprocess these IDOCs. So I will go to BD87 transaction code. And I will show you full understanding. Again, huge learning will be there. We will put the IDOX number 382060 to 382064. Now, just see are we able to put multiple IDOX at a time? Yes. In WE19, only single IDOC. Here you can go for multiple IDOCs at a time. Multiple IDOCs at a time. Now we will go to execute. You can see it is clearly saying application document not posted and 51 is the status. 51 means error. So we have five IDOCs. We will expand. So we have five IDOCs, five IDOCs, and it is saying employee ID 100 failed to insert 101, 102, 103, 104. Why? Because we are putting the same employee ID again. And this is the message we gave in our function module. If I will show you the same message we gave, which is coming. So when insert was uh, insert was not successful, system went to else part. And this is the message which we provided. If I will show you this message. See 91. We gave this message employee ID 101, 100, 103 failed to insert. Are we getting same to same five error messages? Yes, five error messages. Now we will reprocess them. So before reprocess, yes, we need to change the data first. Then we will process them again. Just see how, how we will change the data of these IDOCs. And parallelly, I will show you EDID4 table also so that you can understand how data is updating there also for the IDOC. We will go to EDI D4 table. I will put the IDOX number 382060 to 382064. Okay. Now just see how whenever we will change the data, it will reflect here also. I will click on to first message. Is this our first IDOC number? Yes, this is our first IDOC number 382060. Yes, correct. Now we will simply, simply, okay, I will just close the other sessions so that it should not confuse us. Okay. We will simply, simply display the IDOC. We will go to data record of the IDOC. Do we have employee ID 100 and Rahul? Yes. Now we will change the data. This employee ID needs to be changed else we will again get an error. How to change important. Are you able to see this icon? We'll simply click on to this icon. 
we will change the data in the segment. We'll go to change. Okay. Now suppose we will go for employee ID suppose 500 so that it will process successfully. We will save back. Now just see, just see if I will refresh this table, data record table. If I will refresh, you can see data changed employee ID is 500 now. Similarly, we will do it for all rest for IDOCs also. Then we will reprocess them. I will go to back button. I will go to back, back. I will select the second IDOC. Second message, 382061 is our second IDOC. Yes. We will go to display IDOC. We'll go to data record segment 101 Abhishek. We will change. We will click on to this icon. Data record change. Okay. Now we will simply simply change it to 501. We will go for save. Back. Now we will simply simply refresh the table. Is it changed? You can see 501 Abhishek. We'll go to third. Back. We'll go to third message. Is this our third IDOC? Yes. 382062. Yes. We will display the IDOC. We'll go to data record. We'll simply go for segment and we will change the employee ID. Double click. Data record change and I will go for 502 service. Save. Back. Now is it reflect into the table? Yes. 502 reflected. Now we will go for fourth IDOC. I will click on to fourth message. We will display the IDOC. We'll go to data record. We will simply go to the segment. We will go to, we'll simply click on to this button. Data record, change. I will go to 503. And similarly, I will change the data for fifth IDOC. I will double click on to fifth message. We will simply, simply go for display. Data record. This is the data. We will simply change the data of the fifth item. Is this our 504? Save. Now the data changed for all the five IDOCs. If I will refresh the table, data changed for all the five IDOCs. Now we will check the status also. Because we change the data, so SAP will corresponding change the status also for all the IDOCs. If we will check in EDIDS table, I will display that table. And you can see one more status will add 382060 to 382064. If I will go for OK. And you can see in each and every IDOC, one more status is added 69, 69. After 51 status, one more status added 69. 69, 69, 69, sorry, 69, 69, 69. Now we will simply see what is the meaning of 69 status. If I will show you 69 status. If I will check, we'll simply go to data element of status. Then we will reprocess them. We'll go to con. F for help of the status, you can see 69 is IDOC was, was edited and we edited the IDOC. Yes. So SAP is tracking each and everything. So we IDOC was edited 
and we change the data of the IDOCs. So in the next video, we will see how to reprocess them. So what is the learning of this video? Important, important. We went to BD87. We put all the error IDOCs. We changed the data of all the error IDOCs and we saw the respective result in EDID4 and EDIDS also. The data, change data reflected into EDID4 and one more status added that IDOC was edited in EDIDS table. In the next video, we will see data is changed, how to reprocess with the help of BD87. So that's it in this video. Thank you.